sponsored by Sprint. Millions of fans, one family. Only Sprint can feed them all. Join the family at Sprint.com slash speed. Oh, baby, I'm telling you, Kurt Busch is not going to give up the win. They'll be coming to the white flag this time. Ricky Craven's not going to give up either. Hey, both these cars are driving terrible right now. Nah, they're driving good. Here he comes. It's going to be a drag race. Ten years ago, that historic race here, two one-thousandths of a second. Kurt Busch involved in that, and for Kurt, a former champion, after the tumble in uh, Talladega, he's on the pole for tonight's race. No crazy, way. Crazy they ain't going to make it. Oh, oh he's Kurt Busch. 3,300 pounds of race car flipping through the air like a feather. An epic finish for the race fans. And, and 10 years later, Kurt Busch, where does that moment stand on your racing resume on the special moments list? Uh, it's a top five. I mean, I've won some cool races. And at the same time, the friendship that Ricky Craven and I have developed off that finish, we keep sharing it over and over. And this week's been a busy week with that, reliving it and experiencing what two drivers throwing it out all out the window and going for it. It uh, felt like two boxers going at it and then the respect afterwards. I still don't feel like I even lost that race. Just with him winning and the moment that it created, that, that finish, it'll be an epic finish forever. It's going to take a perfect race to beat that two thousandths of a second. I don't know what's bigger for you this week, a new track record here at Darlington or having an opportunity to drive an Indy car, completing your rookie orientation program up at the Speedway in Indiana. You know, it's just amazing when opportunities align in the world of motorsports. And I've made some great friends over along the years. And with Alan Johnson in the NHRA world doing that pro stock gig a couple years ago. And then with Michael Andretti recently talking with him about uh, coming to NASCAR. So it was so unique how it came together. And it's just always been in the back of my mind. Can I go run Indy? Can I do it? And you can't shy away from opportunities like that to drive an Andretti car in the month of May at Indianapolis. So it was really neat going 218 wide open all the way around. Maybe that's why this 181 was easy. But no way. Uh, this is my day job. I love these guys and this Furniture Row team. They've got good uh, mojo here at Darlington. I hope I can deliver tonight. Chris, he just gets to drive the coolest cars. Yeah, and he's, you know, Matt, he's doing the best with what he has, some limited resources. Yeah, you know, the Bush brothers, they just seem to perform better when they're in a race car all the time. The more they race, the better they are. I talked to Kurt after his run at Indy. He said he's never had any more fun than that, but his head is at Darlington. He loves his NASCAR ride, and that's where his focus is. It's nice that Tony Stewart even offered to help him out. Tony.